Hello, creative designers, and welcome out to this story. My name is Peter. And on to this story, we're just going to see how we can be able to use Brick to create a simple header for our website. It can be e-commerce website, blog, uh, blog website, or whatever. But we're just going to see how we can be able to use Brick and create header. I'm using. I'm currently using a 1.5. Currently, I'm using version 1.5. It's just available. You can check uh, on the website. Uh, they have when it comes to pricing you can see they have automate which is 199 they don't have an affiliate link so i i only include the link on how you, on how where you can get uh the theme from it come uh the builder come in form of a theme so let me just show you how you can be able to add uh, and do all that so all you just need to do once you purchase you need to install and activate the theme and from there on the dashboard menu now you have this button for bricks and on hofa we have these three uh or we have many options here select for template because we just need to create a new template so add new just name it uh just name it as header just a simple one and from there the other thing you just need to do is select uh the template type and select here we have so many of them and select header here and from there and from that point all you need to do is publish now you publish we have now this button for edit with brick so just click on it and it will just direct you to the brick builder uh, dashboard here we have so many options you can also choose we have the, the features that you can be able to drag and drop uh, you can be able to add some section layout and template and uh, you can be able to understand on that you can be able to see uh the breakdown for uh, the brick the brick point uh, like for desktop and we have the template uh, we have the mobile uh, with 760 and all that. You can be able to change and see what you're constructing. So from there, we have uh, from here, you can be able to see all the proceeding. Like for instance, if I do drag this, if I do, let me just add some section like that. And I add, you'll be able to see all that. If you don't need it, just click on this and just disappear and give you uh, the full page uh, view. So let me just delete this one. Now to delete a section you just only like click and light click on a section and you delete like that so whatever you're just going to do we're just going to use at you are just going to use a template so i just select here for template we have some uh, template type here and from there you can see the one we have and you can search for let me just cross here if you just want to see all the templates that you have so you have the community template and you have uh, your template. So if you want to use the already made template, all you just need to do is select uh, community template and select here. We have type here and I select header. We have so many options that are available, but the one I'm just going to use is this first one. And all you just need to do is select insert and, and I select yes like that. And we just start, we have now our our imported uh the one header that we have imported so if you just want to see how it look you just need to remove this structure if you just want to edit like a uh, section for logo if you see on hover from the structure here you can be able to edit just simply uh the easy way if i click here i can be able to even change the logo here i can be able to change everything so i can one i can be able to delete like that and I select another image, I can, if I do have another image, what I just need to do is I just select and I insert. You see, we have the minimum uh, height. You can just control the minimum height you just want. So I can use like something like 50 and here I can use uh, something like 100 like that. It will depend on how you see things look like. So uh, from there, we have uh, where do you want it to, to link i just wanted to if you have a page you can select uh, the page or you can insert an xr let me just add my logo here to just direct me to the home page of my site and from there you can also add a site title and you also add some text on that so if you can also add uh, want if you want the link to open a new tab i just need to do is toggle this button and you turn it on then from there you can style everything you can style your layout from there you can increase a margin if you want to increase a margin you can increase some padding on that you can increase the size and all that 
from here now is where now you can be able to align where you just want it to be and uh it's not showing uh it's not showing because i think it have a fixed point here of the position you can say it's static uh but let me just use the one that was there relative but let it remain the way it is uh which position do you want to have it it will remain like that the way it is but you have so many options that you can be able to customize from there then we head back here now to menu you can click here and we can style our menu here so you go to content and navigation menu we have the main menu just select the menu that you want so here we have i just selected the breakpoints uh we want to see how the breakpoint will look uh, you can see how it look on uh, on tablet uh the breakpoint now we have on mobile you can see how it look like so let's preview and see how it look like it's not functioning here uh we hope they will just consider some features like that uh it's still under much upgrade so that's how it look like on uh, on mobile phone you can see it look uh, something good then from there we can just head over back to the desktop and you can select uh, the top menu if you the top menu you can increase the margin and you can also add the padding if you want to change the background for this you can decide to add a different color uh, for each and every uh, each and every each and every of these you don't want to have a background color so i just leave it i just want to leave it as transparent like that yeah uh, if you want to add some borders you can just come to here and add some border colors with that let's see we have it's not visible let's try to set some here so i need to add something like and here we have something like solid so on preview here you can see we have added the border there so if you want to have the bottom here i can also add one here and on preview you can see how to look like so that how you can be able to customize but yeah on that if you just want to edit this you can click uh the social menu you can click on icon list you can click here on structure and select icon list and here you can be able to add the link uh okay yeah you can just be able to add the link you can also add to open a new tab and all that you can be able to add custom link for the icons if you want to add an icon just click on here and select here we have so many icons that are available here you can say to add like that one and they also have an option to search for an icon and from there just give it a name here and also if you can add some dynamic uh this custom field or all that you can be able to add here then from there you can add link type is it external internal link a page or whatever it is you can be able to add so for instance here we can be able to add um let me just remove this one here the name here and i also go to twitter and i remove the name so i want this here to be cut i want to direct it to cut so i can uh, say so i just interchanged here I can drag like that and I can say that like that and I can also add to an internal so I can search for cut at page and from that I can all I just need to do is I save everything so so that we have now been able to add like this and you have to be able to customize on that all you just need to do is we save for our change and remember our website this is how our website was looking let's me load it uh, on a new tab here and i just load here so you can see the one the one header we have been able to click on so click here you can see we don't have something on the shop this is the button you have just added so you can come here and i can add product here and we can just proceed to view the cut of it so let me just proceed back to shop here and i just click on the button you have just created and see it's now just taking us to the cut that's how you can be able to create a header using break page builder 
uh, they are calling it visual builder for WordPress. More tutorials about Brick are on the way. If you're new here, consider subscribing. If you didn't learn something out of this tutorial, hit the thumbs up. Till next time, I'd appreciate it. Thank you.